Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman, and with me is Deputy Chase Armington from our office, who actually assists in coordinating the highway traffic safety programs. Chase, welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good to see you. Same here. So, sir, so what we're doing with the sheriff's office is we're coordinating along with NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, uh, following their monthly suggested programs uh, for traffic safety, uh, which is a huge issue in Queen Anne's County. Uh, last month, we focused on driving while impaired uh, alcohol centered around the St. Patrick's Day holiday. Uh, that campaign was very successful. We had numerous traffic stops, uh, numerous deputies that worked overtime details specifically geared towards uh, targeting the drivers while under impaired of alcohol. Uh, this month, we're doing distracted driving, and it's, uh, it's an increasing epidemic uh, along all age groups of drivers, specific specifically the teens. So a lot of times we're driving down the road, and I know you see it as well as I do sometimes, and we make those traffic stops when possible. We always see those drivers that are out there on their cell phones yes, sir. texting and, and driving, and that's something that you guys are taking the initiative for? Yes, and it not only includes cell phone use and texting, it's people grooming themselves ready for work, they're running late, uh, reading newspapers, eating, uh, distracted by passengers talking, changing the radio. There's, a, there's a, a long list of things that can count as distracted driving, which leads to traffic offenses. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing an increase in traffic crashes because of persons who are not paying attention? We are, we are. The national standards right now and the statistics are showing a huge increase in uh, distracted driving being a contributing factor. Uh, in 2010, it was just over 3,000 deaths uh, related to distracted driving. In 2011, that number jumped almost 2,000. So it's up to 32, or I'm sorry, 200. It's up to 3,200 now. And I know from invest investigating these traffic crashes, a lot of times people don't tell you they were on their cell phone, right. or they were putting on their makeup, or right. doing their hair. Right, it's all something of a sudden the crash just happened. Correct. It's something that uh, deputies and, and police officers nationwide need to start being cognizant of, of maybe there's another factor of why this crash happened. And a lot of times it's coming to be distractive driving. And you had mentioned that these deputies were working overtime assignments. How is that overtime funded? That's funded through federal grant money and state grant money through the uh, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Maryland office. So that's not coming out of the taxpayers' pockets. No, that's sir. being federally funded. Yes, well, that's sir. great. That's yep. good. Tell you what, that's a big savings for the citizens of the county as well as you're reducing crashes and you're taking these offenders off the street, both with the impaired driving as well as, you know, with the distracted driving, making sure that Correct. Those citations and all are issued. And with the cooperation of our deputies, it's making Queen Anne's County much safer. I agree. I agree. And what about the students and what about things you're doing with schools? There's a few programs that are geared through, uh, it's a website called distraction.gov. Uh, there's some uh, banners up there which are being displayed behind us right now uh, showing you know, some scenes from from uh, distracted driving. Uh, there's a few school programs that are available that we're going to get ready to launch in the high schools uh, directed towards the teens that are getting ready to drive or already driving uh, that educates them on distracted driving, the possibilities, and what can happen, uh, along with some statistics of, of what happens when you drive distracted. Well, great. It sounds like you and a lot of the other deputies, as well as other allied agencies, are really doing a lot to make our community a much safer place. Yes, sir. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I, kn I know personally, you know, having kids and all, it's very appreciative that you guys are doing this and um, again thank you very much for coming on and I thank can't you, wait sir. to see what you have in store for us to make us safer next month. Appreciate it. Thanks.